हेलो रिवान मैं नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट कॉम्पनसेटेड डिमांड कर्व एज वी नो व्हेन प्राइस चेंज रियल इनकम ऑफ कंज्यूमर आल्सो चेंज व्हेन प्राइस चेंज रियल इनकम ऑफ कंज्यूमर आल्सो चेंज फॉर एग्जांपल अर्लियर प्राइस वाज 10 रुपीस बट नाउ प्राइस रिड्यूस फ्रॉम 10 टू 7 That means now consumer can save three rupees. This three rupees will be called increase in real income due to fall in price because now consumer can afford more goods and services with the same amount of money. On the other hand, if price increase from ten to thirteen rupees, that means the consumer have loss of three rupees. This loss of three rupees will be called fall in real income. In compensated demand curve, we keep real income of consumer constant, which changed due to change in price. In compensated demand curve, we keep real income of consumer constant, which changed due to change in price. For example, when price fall, we will take this three rupees from consumer. But when price increase, we will give this three rupees to consumer so that his real income remain constant, which change due to change in price. But why we do this? As we know, price effect is combination of income effect and substitution effect. In order to separately see substitution effect, we keep real income of consumer constant. Please listen carefully. In order to separately see substitution effect, we keep real income of consumer constant, or we can say that in order to see only substitution effect, we keep real income of consumer constant. Now, step by step, we will see how to drive a compensated demand curve. On horizontal side, we have x good. Here we have y good. Here we have quantities of x good, and here we have price. Initial budget line is A B. Initial indifference curve is I C. E is initial consumer equilibrium point because at this point budget line tangent to indifference curve. And initial quantities of x good are O X. Same quantities we will show here. And initial price is O P. Now suppose the price of x fall. As price of x fall, budget line will shift forward, and A B one is our new budget line, and our new indifference curve is I C one, and new equilibrium point is E one. Same quantities of x we will show here. Here you can see as price of x fall from P to P one. Quantities of x increase from x one to x two. Here we have two point, this one and this one. When we join these two point, it will be called our normal demand curve, or you can say that it will be called our Marshall demand curve. This is normal demand curve. Now we are going to talk about compensated demand curve. First of all, we will see compensated demand curve of Hicks. As we earlier discussed, in case of compensated demand curve, when price fall, we take some money from consumer in order to keep their uh, real income constant. According to Hicks, when price fall, we will reduce money income of consumer in such a way so that he can return back to his initial uh, indifference curve again. According to Hicks, we will reduce the money income of consumer in such a way so that he can return back to his initial indifference curve again. This is initial indifference curve of consumer. Now we will reduce money income of consumer because price has reduced. When we reduce money income, obviously budget line will shift backward. So budget line will shift backward when we reduce money income of consumer. A A one. And B two. This is new budget line, and E two is new equilibrium point. Here you can see consumer has returned back to his initial indifference curve again. So same quantities we will show here. So here you can see due to fall in price from P two P one, consumer just increase quantities from X two X X one to X two. When price fall from P two P one, according to Hicks. Consumer just increase uh, this much of quantities rather than uh, this much. So this is actually substitution effect uh, because uh, we keep uh, real income of consumer uh, constant. So here we draw Hicks compensated demand curve. This demand curve will be called this D H demand curve will be called compensated demand curve of uh, Hicks. 
नाउ विल सी स्लस्की कॉम्पनसेटेड डिमांड कर्व स्लस्की रिड्यूज मनी इनकम ऑफ कंज्यूमर इन सच अ वे सो दैट कंज्यूमर कैन अफोर्ड देयर ओरिजिनल कंजम्पशन स्लस्की विल रिड्यूज मनी इनकम ऑफ कंज्यूमर इन सच अ वे सो दैट कंज्यूमर कैन अफोर्ड देयर ओरिजिनल कंजम्पशन लेवल दिस ई पॉइंट शोज इनिशियल और यू कैन से दरिजिनल कंजम्पशन ऑफ कंज्यूमर and slusky will reduce money income of consumer so that consumer can afford this original consumption that's why slusky line will pass through this e point this is slusky line and here we have new indifference curve ic2 and new equilibrium point e3 here you can see ic2 is higher indifference curve as compared to this indifference curve That means the uh, hicks keep uh, consumer uh, original uh, indifference curve, but Slusky keep uh, individual at higher indifference curve. Same uh, quantities we will show in this uh, diagram. So here you can see, according to Slusky, substitution effect is this one, but according to Hicks, uh, substitution effect is this one. Here you can clearly see. a uh, slusky uh, substitution effect is more as compared to hicks here we have one point uh, and uh, we will draw slusky demand uh, curve this ds will be called slusky demand curve this d is normal or you can say the marshall demand curve this dh is hicks demand curve hicks compensated demand curve and the ds is slusky compensated demand curve so this is all about today's video i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care